Hello. Hello. So apparently my camera's not working. <laughs> um, apparently my camera is not working at all in any way. So we are going to do the museum downtown DC today. Actually, if my camera's not working, hold on, let me turn off my lights. <sighs> my eyes, much, much cozier in here now. All right, well, we're gonna go to downtown DC today. So we're gonna be popping around some super mutants. We're gonna get the satellite dish. Um, we are going to actually not take dog meat with us because I think there's places that I wanna be a little sneaky. And dog meat doesn't know how to be sneaky. But we're gonna leave him somewhere we can find him. That's perfect. Stay there. I know, but you get in the way. You get in the way. I have a feeling Alan will take care of him. Hey ho! Welcome back to our cozy village. Alan will make sure he's okay. Alright, let's go back. to the Museum of Technology. This is where we have to go. We're fully rested. We're happy to be here. I actually have a lot, I'm so much less tired. I actually got some sleep. Um, I got some sleep last night. So today, what a difference sleep makes in your everyday life, honestly. I was like not, ugh. I had such low energy yesterday. This is the only known prototype of the X277 Viper Magnetic Rail Cannon developed for the US military by West Tech. Also commonly referred to as the rail gun, the weapon uses energy cells to propel a depleted uranium round across a series of magnets, discharging it at an extremely high velocity. Deemed too costly to produce on a mass scale, the project was abandoned in 2044. On loan from the International Ordnance Museum, these cases display the various types of weapons and ammunitions used by the military in past conflicts. Neat. Now, this suggests to me that that guy knows... Okay, he doesn't know where I am anymore. I feel like we can take them on. With what? What do we want to use? I'm guessing our shish kebab has been kind of our steady, steady Freddy. So yeah, I think we just go for it. Wait, would you? I think I unequipped it. All right, you guys who have really big scary guns, but I also have a fire sword. Now, the last time we were in here, because we were doing... Does that guy not know I'm here? Because we were doing all of the quests, we looked up the answer to the quiz. Um, the, like, the prime number quiz to get that guy stashed, but we don't have to do that. It's not that. It's not that amazing. Plus, I don't know prime numbers, so I have to look it up anyway. Prime number is a number that's divisible by only... Self and well, I don't I don't remember what a prime number is. I hate math so much. Aha! Gotcha! Oh, you were stalking me. Gotcha. Uh. Now I don't remember where the satellite dish is. This is another location where I just wander around. I just wander around mutilated legs until we find everything in the location. The halls of today are ruined. Vault Tech welcomes you to our new line of subterranean vaults featuring our patented Triple S technology. Triple S technology is Vault Tech's convergence of the three most important parts of apocalyptic endurance safety, survivability, and sanitation. Oh, that makes sense. That is smart. Those would be the things you would be needing. 
Outside with only a fraction of the sunburn potential. Oh, that's nice. This is probably in the like the first time your character is really learning about vaults. The living sections make use of our revolutionary floor suck auto cleaner system for those darned messy kids. Never sweep again. Yay. That guy will never sweep again. Moms will love how our Culinator 3000 kitchen system makes cooking a breeze. Mmm, I can smell the muffins baking now. Bored? Don't be! Step into our Entertainatron room and watch the latest holotapes, or perhaps listen to a symphony. Another Vault Tech innovation. A movie room is a vault tech innovation. Got it. Concerns about security? Our eye on you cameras enable the vault's leader to watch your every move. You'll never be alone again. Nice. I feel very safe. Revolutionizing safety for an uncertain future. Should the unlikely event arise that the planet is laid to waste, you'll feel happy knowing your family will be safe in a vault tech vault. I was safe in a vault tech vault. Hooray. We hope you've enjoyed our tour today. If you have any further questions, please take a brochure from our helpful vault tech guides. Thank you. All right. We are here for very specific satellite dish. Did you come down here for me? I'll eat your bread and drink. God. This is the planetarium. We don't want to go to the planetarium. I guess I do have to go the other way. Because the thing that we need is here. Is there. That's what we need. Right there. I can see it. I guess I do have to go the long way around. Now try and hide. From this, I'll try and hide ah! this. Yeah! There are direction signs. Ah! Yes, I know. Ah! Impossible. But I like to wander. Yeah! It's the Virgo two, right? That's what we're that's what we're looking for. The Virgo two. Ta da Yes. Alright, so what do we think it like Found you. five I was gonna say four five super mutants? Wait, where Where was I getting shot from? Okay, that that yeah, that was a lot more damage than I was expecting. All right, so then, where is the other guy? We can get our grenades out. Also mines, I can do mines maybe. All right, let's go try to find the other guy. There's a guy. Try and hide from this. Yeah! I know, I need to top off my health. All right, you're a regular guy, so we'll just get you one. Hopefully that'll land. Well, it did nothing. Whoa! 
Okay, should we mine it up? We have 13 frag mines. I think he'll just keep coming this way. Okay, we gotta get a nuka grenade. And maybe that'll actually blow up the mines. Go for it! Away from there! There we go. Whew. That was our only hope! Okay. He was the worst. I think our Shikabob will be fine. I think the only reason that worked was because it's a nuclear grenade and because it exploded. It exploded. Oh, the other guy was here too. I think I hear someone. Oh, if you're not a master, yeah, you should be, you should be fine. All right. Now, part of me wants to hoard those Chinese assault rifles because I know we're going to need them later. I can't believe the plane fell down, but part of me does not because I don't know that we need to rely on him for anything. I don't know where I just stuck that dish. We don't need to go to the planetarium. Okay. All right, continue. Hello, I'm, I'm here. See, like everything was on. I didn't turn off any of my stuff. All my stuff was going. All right, let's go. Don't mind me, I'm just logging in to go through the security gate. No worries, you guys know me. What, you don't know me? I'm a literal stranger that's walking up and disabling the security on the camera thing on the, on the terminal here. I guess we put the dish here. Sure, I know how to install a satellite dish and activate the relay. Very smart. There we go. I did that. I climbed up on the gr on the scaffolding and put it in there. Now remember, we did not do this for three dogs' benefit. We did not do this to find our dad. We've actually already found where our dad is. I just wanted to be able to listen to the radio. That's all. Coming to you loud and proud in a special live report. But three dog, you're in that cool radio studio in DC. How do you know I can hear you all the way out here in the ass end of nowhere? Because of the kid from Vault 101, that's how. That's me. That gal actually managed to repair our antenna relay. I did. How's that for ingenuity, folks? From here on in, it's bye-bye, stupid static. Hello, magnificent music. So sit back, Hello. relax, and absorb these classic tunes. Until next time, this is Three Dog. Dog. Oh! And you're listening to Galaxy News Radio, bringing you the truth, no matter how bad it hurts. And now, a super important public service announcement. What's that? Listen, kiddos, never forget the importance of periodic weapon maintenance. Mm -hmm. Rifle, pistol, police baton, I don't care which. If your weapon is falling apart, the only wasteland asshole that's gonna kill is you. That's right. So be smart. Salvage those parts and make repairs whenever you can. Now, some music. Okay, nope, because we get the stream muted if we listen to the music. All right. Well, we gotta go back anyway. Hey there. Power to the people, eh, kid? Hey, all right! The hero of the wasteland returns. I did what had to be done. And well done indeed. Now GNR can be heard clear across the capital wasteland again. That'll give Eden and those muties something to think about. 
Well, you got what you wanted, and I already know about my dad, so... Yeah, I heard you found out about your dad. And yet you went ahead and kept your promise to me. I did. It take some real moxie, kid. Three Dog can't let you walk away from here empty-handed after all that. Here, I want you to take this. Can you give me the location of a, it for a special, weapon stash? Someone who could really help with the good fight. It contains the location of an old weapons cache. Thank you. You're welcome to help yourself to anything inside. Uh, 400. Well, that's not nothing. That's good, 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 good. Okay. Okay, bye. Anytime you need a place to crash, duck in here. Be glad to provide. Cool. Can I? So if we wanted to get to Oasis, we could go. It's already on our map. It's already on our map. Dickerson Tabernacle Chapel. We also have these all on our map. So if we want to go here, we would theoretically we could go to Minefield. That's the closest. Let's actually stop by Megaton and sell all of our scrap metal. We did just pick up some scrap metal. All of it. Well, all right. Let me count out your caps. All right, we got 35 XP for that. Bye. Well, back to work. Do you know Leo Stahl is coming in here and doing drugs? Did you know that? I hate to be a tattletale, but I did see him doing it one time. I mean, I saw him in here. I didn't see him doing drugs. All right. Stupid thing we're doing for no reason. Take one. Let's do it. Okay. There should be no mines. But we kind of need to go. There's a wall at the end, so let's go around anyway. We need to go north, west, kind of. We missed one. We missed two. We missed three. Is that a lawnmower? I need that. Cool. All right. We do kind of have to go in that direction. Oh, it's MDPL 13 power station. I should have known. Why wouldn't I have known that? Okay. Um, we're still going northwest, kind of. So let's just go around this way. Is there anything in MLDLP North 13 power station? is it derelict power plant okay there's something moving very fast and we have radiation that was a ghoul turret control system is locked hard I feel like we might want to come back when we are able to hack that. Just a guess. Oh yeah, look at all, look at all the little. Okay, so it's a bunch of, uh, it's a bunch of, okay, it's a bunch of ghouls. We're just gonna go. Let's just go. We'll come back. No! Talon Company. Actually, you know what? I do need armor replenish. Oh god, a glowing one? Talon Company! Talon Company, kill the ghoul. I'm gonna die. If I don't, I'm gonna die, probably. Okay, so I'm sorry, sir. Where did you come from? Were you in that building and you ran out? Okay. Okay. Let's see. 
Over yep. here. All right. There You're you dead. Can I get both of you on? I want this one's head on a fucking plane. <laughs> okay, glowing one is not here. That's much better. Okay. This is also good for Chinese assault rifles. Okay, and then we will repair. Good, good condition, good condition. Cigarettes sell for some money. I guess that's the only good thing about, oh my God, I am literally almost dead. I have 10 HP left. They really do make you like the Enclave. You know? They're like, oh, they have these friendly robots that talk about democracy and baseball floating around that help kill enemies. It's great. They're rebuilding the nation. Oh. Yes? What do you need? I don't know. Um, I have stuff for sale. A few odds and ends? Your eyeliner is really good for being in the apocalypse. Um, I would like to sell you... All the ammo I've been hoarding. In exchange, I would like... A uh, motorcycle gas tank and a frag grenade. Okay. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Uh, maybe repairs. Sure. I can fix most anything. Let me see what you've got. Mm, I do want you to fix my shish kebab. Oh, it's only twenty-three. All right. All right. Bye. Later. Thy, this was the nicest encounter I've had. You have your own dog meat. Very good. Very good. I hope there's no enemies up here. We're gonna just try to pop up the thing. I like to help and do the things. Oh my god, there's like seven of them. Okay, well, I wasn't expecting that. So we're just gonna go this way. Uh, that was um, an entire gang of breakers, I think. All right, so let's go this way. <laughs> we're almost there. Okay. So the map marker isn't pointing to where you need to go, really. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. The bridge is over there, right? Is that the bridge? The map marker that you see is like the entrance. You have to go around to like to the left, I think to get there. There's a little... There should be no enemies here. Just a little break in the rocks. Oh, I hate this so much. Okay. Where's the bridge thing? Is it here? Ah, uh, No, right? No. What is this? This is nothing. Once you see it, it's like, oh, super obvious. When you find it, it's not that. That goes... Ugh. Oh, there's a monorail over there. Neat. I think it is like pretty far over the entrance.
Because then I just fast travel there, so it doesn't matter. Is it to the side? <gasps> it's to the side. Oh my god. That's, sadly, the fastest I, I have ever found it. Look, you can start to see, like, oh, look, there's grass. What's up, Disco? We found Oasis on kind of the first try. We didn't even have to, we didn't even have to walk around in a circle. I don't really want to do this quest, I just wanted to find it. Outsider, you have arrived. Please come closer. I have something of the utmost urgency to speak to you about. Do hurry, he doesn't like to be kept waiting. Yep, I know. We'll meet, we'll meet Herbert. I'm so glad you're here. It's been a while since anyone's visited us. And he's been waiting for someone like yourself to arrive. If you wouldn't mind following me, I'll bring you right to him. Um, just a minute. Who are you? And what is this place? I'm sorry. In my excitement, I got ahead of myself. Mm -hmm. I'm Tree Father Birch. And I have the great fortune of being leader of his people, the Tree Minders. Beyond that gate is our home, Oasis. Who's waiting for me inside? Why, he is, of course. If you'll just follow me to the pavilion, all will be explained. Okay. I'll do it. Excellent. Please, follow me. All will be explained soon. Okay. So the actual quest involves battling a lot of Myra Lurks, and I don't know that we're up to that yet. But we can do, you know. We can get in here and like walk around, say what's up to people. Drink some drug sap, have a weird trippy dream. Become an honorary tree person. Stick branches in our clothes. It'll be a fun time. Rejoice, the great- You have no idea how overjoyed I am to see you. Normally, outsiders are forbidden inside Oasis, but he has made an exception. Um, this place scares me. It's so different. Oh, wait, we can say, what was all that about meeting someone? Yes, my apologies. I don't speak to outsiders very often, <coughs> and I tend to get lost in conversation. As you approached Oasis, he said you were coming, she and I was sent out to meet you personally with a request. He wishes to meet with you. Okay. You'd be the first outsider to do so in a very long time. Okay, let's do it. I would be honored to meet this person. Yes. Person. Person. To meet him, you must undergo the ceremony of purification. Once that's complete, you'll be able to speak to him. Whenever you're ready, we may begin. Let's do it. You're very quiet. This music is very loud. Um, what does the ceremony involve? It's simple, really. You drink the sap from the basin here in the pavilion. Mm, okay. The sap will purify your mind and body of anything harmful that could possibly hurt him. I assure you, nothing harmful will happen to you. Okay, let's do it. Very good. Take your place in front of the basin and let's begin. I like to drink things that I don't know what they are that people give me. Let's do it. Yes, out of a gross tree trunk can't use the fountain. Oh, we have to do You the... must drink from the basin if you wish to meet him. Let's do it. It's filled with some sort of thick, viscous sap. Drink it. Ooh. We will now recite the blessing to ward off any harm the outsider I put my hood on so I can be like the tree miners. The I bid you depart, agents of destruction through the power of his divine will. Leave our homes and bodies immediately. Live no longer in them, but pass over into places where you can harm no one. 
In the name of his frondescence, I call his wrath upon you, so that wherever you may go, you bear it with you. And, diminishing from day to day, you may disappear, except where you serve the health and good purposes of mankind. May no trace of you be found. All this, may he be so good as to grant us, who is to come to judge the living and the dead, and the world by his verdure. Amen. Amen. Soon, you will pass peacefully into sleep, outsider. And when you awake, you will witness his glory firsthand. Okay, bye. I know that little kid that had like the work overalls on. She memorized a whole chunk of, of things. All right, we did it. We're awake. We didn't gain any HP. That wasn't an HP nap. Let's go meet. So, like, you're in here for the first time. Sometimes I like to pretend that, like, it's my first time playing. You're in here for the first time. And you're like, I don't... I don't see anybody. And then you run around. You're like, I can't go anywhere. I don't see anybody. What is this? There's nobody here. Who am I supposed to meet? I guess I'm supposed to follow these torches. Mm, I don't see anybody. There's nobody here. I don't see... Nobody here. Hmm, there's nobody here. <laughs> like, did, I guess the torches are really supposed to make it obvious. Hello. It does look like Oblivion. Hello, talking tree. Glad to see you're finally awake. I can't believe they made you do that stupid ceremony. Yeah. <laughs> they listen when I talk, but they don't hear. I get it, you know man. What I, mean? I do. I've never met a talking tree before. Neither have I. Well, I mean, I talked to Herbert, but he never really says anything back. Oh, <laughs> Herbert. <laughs> Do you, Herbert? He kept growing around me. Maybe for calling him Herbert all the time. His name's really Bob. <laughs> I think it's funny when I call him Herbert, though. <laughs> I don't think he thinks that's funny. So you're trapped in there inside Herbert or Bob. Well, I suppose you could look at it that way. See, Bob used to ride around on top of my head, sunk his roots right in there, you know? His roots? Well, eventually, he got bigger than me, and then I pretty much ended up inside. How did a tree grow out of your head? Also, did you not pick the tree out at any time? Also, is this the same... Did they use the same voice actor that they did in Fallout 2? Is it Fallout or Fallout 2? It was... A long time ago. Mm -hmm. I tend to lose track. I was exploring some sort of a military base with some other people. I think it was called... Mariposa. Mariposa. We were pretty deep inside and we found some weird vats of this nasty green goo. Right when we were about to leave, I think we were attacked. Yeah. Yeah. Last thing I remember before blacking out was something knocking my friend into the stuff. So, okay, well, thank you for sharing that traumatic experience uh, with us. The tree minder said you needed my help? Yes, 
Yes, I do. Or, I guess, we do. Me and Bob, that is. I had you brought in here to ask a very simple favor. Right. Would you please kill me? Absolutely. Sure. Where do you want the bullet? Head or gut? I wish it was that simple. Okay. No. No. There's only one way you're going to be able to do this for me. How would I be able to kill you? You're a tree. How to put this? Mm. I've been feeling rather spread out lately. I think Bob's kind of shoved my insides around some. <laughs> it's hard to tell where everything is, but it's always that way with one's insides, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Anyway, I believe Bob's carried some of my organs into his root system. I want you to go underground and destroy my heart. Okay, but if I kill you, all the tree miners will be mad. Oh, no, no, don't worry about them. When you decide to go down there, I'll have a little chat with Birch and the rest of the gang. Okay. They usually don't understand a word I say, but I'll make them come around. Okay. I was Gambit. Gamma is sleeping on the bed right now. He's doing really good. Um, why don't you just kill yourself? Um, no, let's not be. Di uh... Let's cough up some caps. What? You think he has money? He's a tree. Okay, I'll do it. Can I have some time to think about it? Oh, of course. I know this is an unusual request, but. Hey, I'm an unusual tree. You're not huh? a tree. Bob is the tree. <laughs> well, Bob is. Herbert anyway, is the tree. We'll just keep it an open invitation then. I don't want to wait until the next person visits. Okay. It could be years. You're all I've got. Okay. Well, goodbye, uh, tree? No, no. Herbert is the tree. Yep. Bob is his real name, but I call him Herbert because I think it's pretty funny. Okay. <laughs> but I'm still in here, too. What's left of me? The name's Harold. Then with that, we're done. He just drops that. Oh, look at him. He's so gigantic. Like, look how tall he is. There's his knee. There's his leg. There's his... I mean, you're like... If you were a ghoul and you were this size, you could kill us with one swipe. Just... <laughs> And I'm telling you, you've got it all wrong. Why else would he have called for an outsider's assistance? The outsider is here to deliver us from our enemies, to keep this place safely locked away from the wasteland, not to exploit us. How can we preach about peace when all you want to do is keep his gift all to ourselves? That's not what he would want. If we allow the spread of this miracle oh God, to continue, go away, we're child. putting him in jeopardy. I can't allow that. I no. won't allow it. Once again, my husband, we are at an impasse. I suggest we speak to the outsider. Oh. Agreed. Why else would the outsider have been allowed into the grove? Perhaps it's a test. Yes, that must be it. I know why you're here, and despite what my wife thinks, I know you'll do what's best for Oasis. 
After all, he chose you. And he would never want to put us in harm's way. Yeah, you guys are fine. What? You guys are, are great. Um, I'm afraid... Uh, Harold isn't a god. He's not a god, Birch. His name's Harold. Oh, he's testing you now. Oh, God. Just like he tested us. He wants to see if your faith is strong by spinning these incredible stories. Who else but a god could produce all of this? Don't worry. Or like a You'll dude who fell into some I FEV? Do. Um... Harold makes unusual requests. The Great One does tend to speak in riddles. But if that is his way, then so be it. My talks with him have become quite puzzling of late. I think he's beginning to fear his future. The Great One's influence is growing, and soon it will break free of the confines of this secluded veil. We can't allow Oasis to call attention to itself like that. It would be the end of him. So what could I do to help? If the same sap that you drank to purify yourself could be applied to his heart, it should stop the spread. How do you know I that? I can promise you no harm would come to him. That's all I ask of you, outsider. Nothing more, nothing less. Like, how would you guarantee that's what it would do? I love Birch, but sometimes I think he doesn't see the big picture. The spreading of his influence is not a curse. It's a great miracle. A benefit meant for the entire wasteland. Mm, why don't any of you listen to Harold? Of course we do. Mm. He yearns to share his miracles with the whole world. Did he say that at all? To give the gift of life back to the dead wasteland. He did not say that at all. It's upsetting him to no end. But Birch can't see the pain it's causing. Mm. But now that you're here... I have a feeling the winds are about to change. Uh-oh, I see where this is going. I heard what my husband wanted you to do. What I propose is an alternative. The same person that created the sap also created this liniment. If you can reach his heart, it will assist in making his influence increase. Instead of centuries, the wasteland will become green in mere decades. Just imagine how glorious that would be. It would be glorious, but that's only because of you. That's what you want. That's not what Harold wants. You think it's glorious. Hello, Branch Tender Cypress. Branch Tender Cypress at your service. You have a stupid Welcome name. to our little home. You have a stupid name. Um, can I have a key to the caves? Sure. Here you go. All right. Good luck to you. Thank you. What's your opinion of Tree Father Birch and Leaf Mother Laurel? I wish they wouldn't argue so much. It makes everyone uncomfortable. Mm, I can see that. How did you end up here? I was an outsider like yourself, wandering the world aimlessly, wasting my life trying to seek my fortune. When my eyes beheld the splendor of Oasis, I knew I'd found a holy place. Tree Father Birch allowed me to stay, and I've been here ever since you just like stick some stick some twigs in your clothes and you're good to go okay bye goodbye outsider goodbye do you have a oh you're giving up your post and everything all right that's fine there's nowhere like this left in the world anymore eh, outsider i do not feel super confident about it okay we've got Shish kebab. We've got grenades. We've got running backwards while flailing a fire sword. What? What? Oh my god, you're the tiniest little rad roach I ever did see. I didn't see you at all. Alright. You're being so slow. Oh, 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 oh. Oh no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Do you have like a... You'll only go so far, huh? Very good, very good, very good. Ah! 
That it, that it, that it, that's it, that's it. Yikes. All right, well, at least he'll be a little slower. Great. We'll try it. We'll chance it. Oh my god, we're stuck. We're stuck in the animation. Alright, that's not great. Not great. The Mirelur meet like magic. Alright, what else could we use? Let's try to run up. We could try to run up on him. Only two nuclear grenades left. We're using them for emergencies. I don't think this is an emergency. I think we just gotta go for it. Okay, he is running at us. We can do a mine plan. Possibly. No? Does he not want to go past there? Yay! No? Okay. Did that not do anything? That didn't work like I thought it was going to work. But it killed the Mire Alert King and like one, I, he had already been hit with a grenade. Jeez. I think the Mire Alert me along the way. This is the place with this little camp up here, right? Yes. This with this little camp. Wonderful. We get to take a nap. We get to have some supplies. We get a pre-war book. No, I want the book. The pre-war book. What else is up here? There's a stealth boy. I mean, it's not the worst idea in the world. There's a silence pistol. They really want you to um, have an option to sneak, I guess. There's some Abraxa, we need that. I thought that was a motorcycle gas tank, but it was a baseball glove. But either way, we got DC Journal Medicine, so that's not so bad. There's a coffee mug and a Nuka Cola. All right. Okay. There's crutches. All right. Maybe we maybe we try to stealth boy our way through. I mean, we got one. Four. Stealth Boys in Fallout 3 were so OP. That would not fly in Fallout 4, let me tell you. That would not fly at all. We're just gonna mosey on, words. We're just gonna keep on keeping on. There's a king. He's so tall. He looks very tall. He's drinking something or bending down. We wait for him to pass. Is he gonna stand there forever? He's 
It's got to turn around sometime. Nope, there he goes. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're so stealthy. We're so stealthy. We made it. We made it. Heart. Harold's heart. Okay. Destroy Harold's heart. Apply Birch's sap to stop Harold's growth or apply Laurel's liniment to accelerate Harold's growth. Isn't that like a good karma thing? Let's apply Birch's step sap. I know there's one way you can lose karma is if you um, kill him with fire. Let's apply Birch's sap to stop Harold's growth and see what that does. It's nothing. Okay, it did nothing. We didn't gain or lose karma. So now let's see what the other one does. And if neither of them do anything, we'll just kill him because that's what he wants. Unless you gain karma from killing him, then we probably shouldn't do that. I don't need any more good karma. Is there, like, another way we should be viewing his heart? Should we come around this way? Oh, there we go. All right, Laurel's liniment to accelerate his growth. Did that do anything? Okay. That did nothing. Okay. Well, since neither of those affect our karma, we'll do the feel-good option that everybody wants and we'll kill Harold. Because I know that's what everyone wants to do. It's the right thing to do. If this gains us karma, we're going back and doing something else, though. <laughs> Destroy his heart. You've been exposed to Harold's mutation, and your skin is now hard as tree bark. Did you guys see the blood spurting out of that adequately? I feel like we should give that... We should do that again, because I feel like you didn't get to see the blood squirting out adequately, because I didn't have my flashlight on. There we go. Nice and bright there. All right. Let's destroy his heart. Yay. Gross. Like, what, what could you possibly have done? What did you do to make it burst open like that? You just, like, squoze it with your bare hands. We gotta go and we gotta swim under. This is quite inconvenient. Oh god, it didn't work. Ah. I touched him! I touched him! Okay, we made it. <laughs> Doesn't work if you touch them. Okay. Alright. Hey, I killed him. Did you see? Welcome, outsider. Welcome to Oasis. Thank you. The Great One is dead. Slain by your hand. Don't worry, I hold no grudge towards you. You'll have to forgive my people at a time like this, outsider. They aren't used to being so lost. And for once, I don't have the words to help them. 
Um, <laughs> why would you say that? Um, and here I thought you'd be ready to kill me. No, outsider. My anger lay not with you, but with myself. Before you reached his heart, he imparted his last words to me. He told me about his will to die and how I mistook this for some mystical sign. How could I have been so blind? How could I have misled all these people? Perhaps if I would have spent more time getting to know him, things would have turned out different. Um, what will become of Oasis? Even though the Great One has left us, our memories of him will never die. With Bloomseer Poplar's help, I'm confident we can keep Oasis alive and carry on as Treeminders. Go now, outsider. Go, but never forget the gifts the Great One bestowed upon us. All right. We completed, oh, thank God. We, we're leveling up, we're leveling up. Um, let's do, I mean, look at these numbers with, without having to put anything into any of the guns related ones. You can really go for it, you know? On the other stuff. Pretty nice, pretty nice. I really want to get lockpick um, moving in the right direction. All right. Oh, man. Oh, man. 50% damage every time you attack an insect like a rad roach and a rad scorpion. We still haven't done the ant quest. That might be a good one. We have scoundrel level two. We have bloody mess still. We have, um, so these are almost all the same ones. Five points to small guns and repair. We don't need that. Science and medicine. Maybe we do scoundrel level two? Or we could do this one because you get an extra point every time a book is read. We found a large number of books, like a very large number of books. So getting two versus one, I don't know if that'd make that much of a difference. Let's just do entomologist because we haven't done the bug perk yet. The bug perk, the bug quest, and that might come in handy. We can just do extra damage. Hi. Harold and Herbert and Bob, you look like you're in at peace. I mean, kind of, you look pretty terrifying, but you look like you're at peace. Beautiful, aw. Come on, boy. Dog meat stayed here the whole time, good job. We're gonna end up in Megaton tonight. Let's see about disarming that bomb. I need to get a house. I want a house. He is coming with the clouds. Okay. And um, let's attempt to disarm the bomb. There you go. We disarmed Every the bomb. Eye shall be blind with his glory. I didn't want to gain karma. That wasn't that wasn't the plan. I want a free house. Hey. I'll be damned. Yep. You did it, didn't you? I did. You disarmed that thing. Uh huh. And all without asking for pay, too. I'm a peach. Hell, why don't you move in? Here's the key and the deed to an empty house. Consider yourself a Megaton citizen. Thank you. Oh, and talk with Moira at Craterside Supply. She's got random odds and ends you might be able to spruce the place up with. I have to go now. Later. We got 300 XP for that. Yes. So this is what I wanted. Yeah, I think it's just easier to get to your Megaton house than it is to get to Tenpenny, the tower with the thing and the elevator and whatever. Here we go. Home sweet home. Hello, Wadsworth, dog meat. You get to stay here now. I know, but you get to stay here now instead of out in like some weird thing. Look at that, home sweet home. Isn't it great? It looks great. We have our own bed. We can do our own naps now. Excellent. That's where we're gonna finish it up for tonight. Thank you for coming by and spending 
your Friday night at this stream with Fallout Friday. I will see you next week or tomorrow if you like Coral Island. Bye, everybody.